Canada sending heavy artillery to Ukraine while imposing sanctions on Putin's daughters, of all things. And should Russian and Belarusian players be allowed to play in Canada? This is the Railway North Report. All right, so the, the Canadian government decided to sanction Putin's daughters, as well as 14 other individuals, in response to the war in Ukraine. Now, I don't know why we'd go after Putin's daughters. I don't think they have anything in Canada, any assets in Canada. But it'd be interesting to know if we do. And what's it going to become, like a Huawei chick where they land in Canadian airspace, we're going to arrest them and hold them? Be interesting. But more importantly, I think we plan to send heavy artillery to Ukraine as Russia forces step up your tax in the Donbass area. Russia is trying to take over the Donbass and present it as a fait accompli in order to annex it because they are supporting separatist groups there which are very much a minority in that region and they're trying to take over that port city that links the Crimea to the Donbass. At best Putin would come out with a pyrrhic victory. He'd be able to say to the Russian people, yeah we got this back but at the same time I don't know the cost seems really heavy and the international cost will will take decades to repair. So gotta remember the Liberals tabled 500 million for military aid to Ukraine last week. And some of it's gonna come from our current inventory, which means it's gonna be the towed artillery. We don't have self-propelled artillery. There's a difference. Towed artillery means you need another truck to tow the artillery. Self-propelled is self-explanatory. It's its own artillery with an engine you can drive it around. It's something we should be investing in. Again, can has let its military slide so far. But yeah, send our artillery there and start getting better better equipment for ourselves. What I don't get is why we're advertising this. Sometimes it's better to shut your mouth and let it be a surprise. That way you can deny all involvement. The Russians did this perfectly in the Korean War when they provided an air squadrons to the Chinese North Korean border to defend Chinese territory against United Nations Air Force pilots who are threatening to retaliate on Chinese soil. The Russians did this again in uh, Vietnam. They supplied lots of military equipment and money to the Vietnamese. The U.S. has done it in Afghanistan. Pakistan did it in Afghanistan when the U.S. were there. It's never ending. It's just good to be quiet about it. So what's Putin do? He goes ahead and bans premiers, mayors, heads of CBC all banned from visiting Russia. No biggie there. Putin's turning back the clock to 19, 1970. And if he wants to do it that way, fine. I don't mind isolating Russia, treating them like they were in the when I was a kid. So I'm right. You know, the Russians started this war for no real reason other than they didn't want the Ukrainians to join NATO. They're afraid for their own security. And they also want to reestablish the old Soviet Empire. It's kind of like both things. Fact and fiction. Yes, they are scared of NATO encroaching on their borders, but they do it themselves. Most people on Russian borders don't like them. Now, Russia warns you to stop arming Ukraine or face unpredictable consequences. I'd say call their bluff and do it. Keep sending, keep arming the Ukrainians with weapons and thumb your nose at them. Draw a line, a line in the sand. And if Russia wants to retaliate heavier, we can do it too. The Russians have more to lose than we do at this moment. Now I know another thing. Tennis Canada says Russian and Belarusian players are allowed for now. The National Bank Tennis Tournaments this August in Toronto, Montreal, which used to be the Rogers Cup, I believe. Why? Why are we letting them come in? If anything, we should bring, be bringing all our athletes that are in Russia, all the hockey players home, and then throwing out theirs. After all, the Canadian Hockey League is banning Russian players from the import draft. 16, 7-year-old kids are, who have a chance at a financial windfall over here, they'll make more money in here than they will in Russia, playing in the KHL, they're no longer allowed. And it's good. Allows more jobs for Canadian kids. And we should be doing that across the board. <clears throat> Let them feel the consequences of their leaders' actions in this case. Even Gretzky calls for Russia to be banned from rescheduled World Juniors. And they should be. Take them out of the tournament. Let them know that, hey, you guys are assholes and you don't deserve to be here. I would take it a step further and not allow any Russian hockey players into Canada. 
like I said, bring our Canadian players home, send the Russians home. Might not seem fair in that, but hey, all's fair in love and more. So any Canadians out there, let me know, should we continue to arm, should we continue to send military aid to Ukraine? And should we start hitting Russian sports figures? So let me know in the comment section, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And until next time, this has been the Great White North Report. Yes, yes.